Hey guys, I'm Mariana. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And you can turn on the post notification bell so you're notified every time I post a video, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this really easy, super cute lavender, sorry, <laughs> lavender lilac kind of cut crease look, which is really cute to wear for any wedding or any event. I feel like it's like super cute. You, you can wear this anywhere. Um, but it would would go well for a nice like um, event like a wedding <laughs> so the palette that I used was the hip dot Zion palette and I just went in with these two shades so the first shade is this like dark brown shade and I just applying this over my crease and kind of just buffing that in and I'm using a really light hand and a really small amount of pigment so I'm gradually building it on I did not want this part to be super dark or super pigmented either I wanted the focus of this eye look to be just the purple but I did want to add a little bit of contrast a little bit of depth toward the crease area so I just kind of like buffed that in on the top and just followed the line of my crease and also winged it out just a small amount then I went ahead and cut my crease with some concealer in this small concealer brush so I'm literally just following my eyelid shape and using my crease as a guide and I'm also kind of um, going a little bit higher than my natural crease just so you'll be able to see the cut crease when my eyes are open so if you do have hooded eyes I suggest making the crease a little bit higher than your natural crease so then you will be able to see whatever's going on on your eyelid even when your eyes are open then I went ahead and just filled in the whole entire lid area with the concealer and I also winged it out as well just to give my eyes a really nice uplifted look and it just looks super cute and pretty and it just like creates a really nice flow of the eye shape so you're basically like faking a really nice like cat eye looking eye shape with this so after i made sure that they are all matched up both sides i went in with this real techniques kind of kabuki brush and i just like packed on the base i just like kind of buffed around the concealer just to make sure there was a nice even base for the lilac shade so i went ahead and applied this purple shade with this kind of concealer brush but i used this brush for eyeshadow i went in with this brush because i wanted to make sure that the top edge of the concealer and where the whole entire like crease line is was nice and clean um i didn't want any like buff like any blending out going on i wanted it to be like a really nice clean line where the crease was at so i just literally filled in the whole entire lid with the purple shade so then i went ahead and applied some eyeliner this part is definitely optional you don't have to use a liner if you want or you don't have to use lashes either but i went in with some liner because i wanted that really nice classic eye look um with the cut crease and the wing so i am using the kat von d tattoo liner in the mini and i just created um kind of like a it wasn't really like a thick wing but I was just trying to mimic the shape of the crease line and just kind of create this really nice flow going on with the um, eyeshadow look and just like uplifting my eyes and just making it look really nice and cat eye looking. So I'm kind of literally using the cut crease line as a guide and just following that with the liner. So after I applied the liner to how I wanted it to look and also kind of matched it up with the other end, I went ahead and cleaned it up with some concealer. So this is the part um, and this is how I make it look as symmetrical as possible with the other side and also just clean up the outer corner area and make sure that there's no purple going on anywhere under the liner wing so after that i went ahead and applied some mascara this is me making sure that it matches up with the other side um but if it doesn't it's totally fine then i went ahead and applied some mascara only on the top and i applied some lashes as well so you definitely do not have to go in with lashes either if that's not your thing and i also left the lower lash line bare because i was just going for like a really nice opening eye opening effect with just putting makeup on the top um and the upper area so you can definitely put some liner if you want on the bottom or you can even use a different shade for the lid so this is how it came out i'm really happy with it i um, really like how it looks and it's exactly what I wanted. It was super easy to do So I was very happy with this. Let me know what you guys think um, If you recreate this definitely tag me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye